Hey guys, this is Andrew's Film Productions back with you once again for another big VHS update. It's for today, July 13th, 2018. I hit five thrift stores. I went to, to Paradise Bound Thrift Store in Zealand, Michigan. I went to Salvation Army Thrift Store in Holland, Michigan. I went to Africa's Child Thrift Store in Holland, Michigan. I went to Bowles from Mexico Thrift Center in Holland, Michigan. I also went to Goodwill in Holland, Michigan. Those were the five thrift stores I went to. Yep. I bought, picked up 25 videos. Okay. First, we're going to start with this tape. This is another 2000 Airplane Entertainment reprint of Veggie Tales Rack Shack and Benny. Says Veggie Tales Deliciously Soy. Says Detroit Free Press. Right. Here's the side care from Mr. Nezzer. The back scenes Sunday morning veggies. Sunday morning fun. There's trouble brewing at the Nezzer Chocolate Factory. Special bonus feature is the Dance of the Cucumber. And here's the other side. It's the top. The tape. The original 95 sticker label. And it's a green tape. Don't mind that at all. Print date is. September 7th, 2001. And the only bad news is when I opened the tape up, it's kind of crinkled a little bit. It's some, yeah, some of the tape's eaten up. But the rest of the tape should still work. Next, we have the another 2000 Everyone Entertainment reprint of Veggie Tales Madam Blueberry. It says hilariously fun. He says Billboard magazine. Front, the side from Madame Blueberry. Back, Sunday morning value. Saturday morning fun. It's the story of a very blueberry. It says clever, quirky, green leafy fun. It says Chicago Chimney. It says watchable, laughable, lovable. It says Houston Chronicle. And the special bonus feature is love songs with Mr. Lunt. Here's the other side. Here's the top. Stick label. It's green tape. Don't mind that. Print date is September 24th, 2001. Up next, we have another 2000s lyric reprint of Veggie Tales God Wants Me to Forgiven. This, Mad Blueberry and Rack Shack and Mini, I bought at the Paradise Bound Thrift Shop in Zealand, Michigan today. It says Morally Uplifting, Genuinely Amusing, it says Parents Magazine. The front side character profile paw grape. And the back says Sunday morning value, Sunday morning fun. God wants me to forgive them. Contains two hilarious fully computer animated stories that teach children a biblical perspective on forgiveness. Special bonus features the forgive o -matic. Here's the other side. It's the top. It's the tape. The ink label, it's a lighter green tape, which don't mind that at all. Print date's August 6, 2001. About a week before my third birthday. Next, we got another 2000s reprint of VeggieTales Damon the Giant Pickle. It's a green tape. Bought this at the Paradise Bound Thrift Store in Zealand, Michigan today. This is Deliciously So. This is Detroit Free Press. Front. Here's the side character profile of the Giant Pickle. The back. It says Sunday morning value, Sunday morning fun. Have you ever felt like you were too low to do anything big? It's got special appearance by world famous superhero Larry Boy. And the special bonus feature is Love My Lips. And here's the other side. Here's the top. Tape. The sticker label, it's a green tape. Print date's February 22nd, 2001. Yeah, I bought this. Well, because the other one's kind of in bad shape. I'm missing a piece. It's, it's half. The window piece on that tape is broken. Next, I got another 2000 Everlander Team of VHS of Vegetables Esther Girl Came Queen. I also bought this at the Paradise Bound Thrift Store in Zealand, Michigan. It says VeggieTales Eye Popping Animation. It says Parenting Magazine. Front, here's the side curve of Esther. Back, it says Sunny Morning Value, Sunny Morning Fun. The King Needs a New Queen, and Esther has been chosen. What people are saying about VeggieTales is a smash hit since this week and well crafted and Detroit inter entertaining since Detroit News. And here's the other side. Here's the top. 
And here's the tape. The ink label, it's a black tape, don't mind. Oh, I just needed to kind of wind this up because, yeah, that must have happened. The print date is September 12th, 2000, so it's print, print almost a year before the 9 11 attack. Caused by some. Well, looks like the phone strip's in good shape. The case is in really nice shape, too. Next, we got the 1998 VHS of Summer Magic. Jake, it's another copy. It's in nicer condition. I bought this at Salvation Army Thrift Store in Holland, Michigan today. It's the front. It's the side. It's the back. There's no correct review. Oh, yeah, and it has a coupon in here, which I doubt anyone will ever write on that. It's the only thing that came with this video. Tape with the ink label. Print date's April 6, 2000, so this is a reprint. I'm going to check the opening of his tapes soon. Next, we have the 2003 VHS of Jumanji, which I got this at Salvation Army Thrift Store in Holland, Michigan today. It's an exciting, thrilling adventure for the, the whole family will love. This is Barry Krutznik of, of Premier Radio Network. Right. Here's the side. The back, it says, an adventure ride for the entire family. Edge of your seat entertainment, says Jim Ferguson of Prev Channel. Preview Channel. Here's the other side. Here's the top. Let's tape the sticker label. The week and year code's the 32nd week of 2003. Well, it's really 96 pieces, but as a 2003 reprint. Next, we got the 2001 VHS of Remember the Titans. Another copy. It says two thumbs up. It says Ibrahim Roper in the movies. A rousing celebration of the human spirit filled with heart and soul, says David Sheehan of KCBS TV. Side. It's the back. There's no back credit view, view like there was on the front. Here's the other side. Here's the top. Tape the ink label on a blue lid. Print date's April 4th, 2003. Yep. And then I got another copy of the 2000 VHS of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original movie. The sign kept for the turtles. The back says, Charm the shell out of me. The most original idea in years, says Joel Siegel. Good morning, America. And the most popular heroes, the side of the Bat Cave, says Ben Callen of the Los Angeles Times Syndicate. And Jim Henson's done a spectacular job in bringing the turtles to life, says Norbert Sparrow of the Los Angeles Parent Magazine. And here's the top, and here's the other side. Okay. And the tape with the ink label. Print date's April 16th, 2000. Next, we got uh, the 1994 VHS of Winnie, Winnie the Pooh helping others. I got this at Africa's Child Thrift Store in Holland, Michigan today. Uh, it's the sidekick of a rabbit back. Got Owl's Well Done Ends Well. A very, very large animal. Cause and effects and the dream to dream the impossible scheme. Here's the other side. Here's the top. Here's the tape with the ink label. Print date's December 11th, 1996. So this is a reprint. Up next, we have a 1996 VHS of Winnie the Pooh growing up. Also bought that to at Africa's Child Thrift Store in Holland, Michigan today. It's a side of Pooh. Max got grown but not forgotten. Home and home is where the home is. Here's the other side. 
Here's the top. Yeah. And the ink label on the tape. Print dates January 17th and 96. And it came came with some really nice promo stuff too. And a business reply card. We're gonna set that to the side. Something for spot, which uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, these are it's, yeah. It came with really nice promo stuff. Yeah. Next we have a new adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Everything things coming up as roses. Come everything comes coming up roses. I mean yeah. I don't remember know what exactly what year this tape was released, but I'll check. Your psych up uh, piglet. The back. It's got E I E I E R, my hero, honey for a bunny and owl feathers. And here's the other side. The top. And here's the tape the ink label. Print dates, uh, two print dates, January 3rd of 1992 and January 10th of 1992. Those are the two print dates on this tape. Mm -hmm. Next, we got got something else. This is this is actually a bootleg tape. This is a bootleg copy of Toy Story. Well, yeah, it's it's actually 95 tape and 95 bootleg VHS of Toy Story or early 96 bootleg. Okay. Yep, cause it. Yep. And you know, you know why I say it's a bootleg? Cause it's because 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 all the labeling is just printed and just printed off of a printer. And Toy Story doesn't. It was not part of the Masterpiece Collection lineup, but they used it like this. I, but I, I did see this and I picked it up. I'm keeping it because it's pretty cool. It doesn't have, just goes straight to the the Walt Disney Pictures logo, the Pixar variant. Yep. Next, we got another 1994 VHS of VeggieTales God wants me to forgive them. I bought this at the Bibles for Mexico Thrift Center in Holland, Michigan today. This one comes in a rental case. And I did check it does not have a warning screen. Just goes straight to the theme song. I'm gonna kinda switch this out with my other copy. Copy that I have in my room. It's the side. Back it says beautifully animated, brilliantly written, says Moody Magazine. God wants me to forgive him. Contains two fully animated stories that teach children a biblical perspective on forgiveness. Special bonus features is a forgive o -matic. Doesn't have a label though. That's that's the only complaint about this tape. No print date on this tape either. Huh? I check to see if this is actually God wants me to forgive him. I'm, I'm gonna kind of check when I fast forward the tape. Next, we got another Winnie the Pooh video. It's the new adventure of Winnie the Pooh. The sky's the limit. Side, care about gopher. Back, this says Pooh skies. Rabbit takes a holiday. Owl in the family. Here's the other side. The top. Here's the tape with the ink label. And it's there's a little crack there, but the tape should still work. Print date is... January 6th and 92. This is so this we now know it's a 92 tape. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we got a VHS of Chimdale Rescue Rangers Undercover Critters. I'll check the opening of this tape. I don't really know it, though. Front, right, here's the side. Character profile of Chip. Back, there's no critic view. Here's the other side. Here's the top. And it's the tape with the stick label. Um, it doesn't have a print date, but it's got information. But I don't think this is a Canadian copy. I'm, and the film strip is in really good shape still. And I'll check the opening of this tape soon. See what previews are on it. And then here's the 96 features of Disney Sing Along Songs Disneyland Fun It's a Small World. I bought this at the Goodwill Store in Holland, Michigan today. It's the front. There's the side from from Mickey Mouse. Back. Songs include Whistle While You Work, Step in Time. I'm walking right down the street, middle of Main Street, USA, and follow the leader. The Great Outdoors, Zippity Doodah, Rumbling in My Tummy. Really, it's a small world, making memories. Grim Grinning Ghost, the character parade, and when you wish upon a star. And here's the other side. The top. And yes, it's tape with the ink label. Print date, June 18, 1996. Two days before my big brother was born. Yep. Okay. And it comes with some nice promo stuff too. And the last thing that came with it is a business reply card. Nobody wrote on there because trying to keep keep all these in good shape. Yep. And, you know, the only complaint is sometimes people don't check their tapes before before donating their tapes to Goodwill. Okay, up next we got the 2000 VHS of Barney's Dino Dancing Tunes. It's front, here's the side cap of Barney and BJ. In the back, songs are Colors All Around, Down on Grandpa's Farm, Baby Bop Hop, Land of the Mother Goose, Blue Jay Blues, Hey Look at Me I Can Fly, A Rock and Roll Star, Old King Cole, The Dino Dance, and I Love You. I know a lot. I know a lot of teens don't like Barney, and that's fine with me. But I kind of like it though. Grew up watching it. Here's the other side. It's time. And here's the tape with the ink label. Print dates Jan November nineteenth, two thousand one. I know. Brendan movie alternate doesn't like Barney. Well, which I know he unfortunately closed his account. Yeah, that's too bad. Or he may he may have gotten suspended. I'll, I'll have to double check on that. He might have gotten suspended. And next we got another nineteen ninety nine VHS of Pinocchio. Well, yeah, I I bought I you know why I bought another copy. I'll tell you why in a sec. It does have the same casing as my other copy. 
Bang label. And it's got a print date from September 16th of 99. Well, I thought this was going to use the Masterpiece logo, but it doesn't. Yeah, because I used to have one that did have the Masterpiece logo, but it broke. Yeah. But I'm going to keep this for now until I can officially find one that does use the Masterpiece logo. After the feature presentation logo. Next we have the 98 VHS of the Sword in the Stone. It's front. Psycho Fable. Arthur. The back says Pure Disney Gold. says the New York Times. Case is in the, in, in the best of condition. But... I did check the opening. It is the 98 VHS. Tape with the ink label. Print date September 28, 1999. But it still has the previous from the 98 VHS. Okay. Next, we got the 2002 VHS of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which I got this one sealed. And yep. Front side of Harry Potter. The bank says the Wizard of Oz is of its time a complete triumph. Says Richard Roper of Ebert and Roper. I don't know if Richard Roper is still alive or not. I'll I'll check Google to see if he is. And here's the other side. Here's the top. Let's tape with the ink label. Print dates April 25th, 2002. And then we got a, got another 2002, 2003 VHS of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Yep, it's, it was also sealed when I got it. Front side front of Harry Potter. Back says, out matches even its own predecessor. Her with more action, humor, and thrills is Claudia Puig of USA Today. Here's the other side. Here's the top. It's kind of a little noise. Kind of a little noise inside the set. I'll kind of have to open it up to see what it is. Here's the tape with the ink label. Print dates June 17, 2004. So this is a reprint. Next we have another 2004 VHS of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban also bought this sealed All right, here's the side of Harry Potter Bex says this tr true kids classic is just as magical for adults as Peter Rayner of New York Magazine and here's the other side and the top and the tape itself with the ink label and the print date is October 29th 2004 And next we have a VHS of Batman Returns. Check its print date and copyright date too. Front and here's the side. Here's the back. It says sensational, a fun house of comic and crazy surprises. This is Pat Cons of WWR TV. And explosively entertaining. This is Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. And it looks like a 90, it was a 92 VHS. I did buy this one sealed at Goodwill. Here's the other side. Here's the top. So tape with the ink label. Print dates May 20th and 97. So this is kind of a, this is a later pressing. Yep. And one more tape. Yep, this, is, this is another 96 VHS of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It does have the same casing as my other copy. But the only change is it's got a horizontal ink label. The last copy I had had a vertical ink label. Two print dates, August 15th of 99 and September 10th of 99. So where are the two print dates on this too? Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned and subscribe for more videos.